my favorite season is definitely winter. And the key to having winter be fun in Yosemite is to get out, I think, on skis and get out and explore. It's a great way to get out and get some exercise. You can get to all kinds of really cool places. It's like the winter equivalent of going for a walk, except more fun, because you get to slide around. When the landscape's covered in snow, it opens up a lot of terrain to backcountry traveling. In the summertime, we get used to hiking trails because that's often the path of least resistance. But once it gets buried in snow, you don't need a trail. You can travel over just about any terrain. Start skiing, you don't see that many people. It's amazing to get someplace like this on skis. You're in the city, you're in your life, you're at your jobs, you're with your kids. It's like, you know, you need to break away and drive and be on skis. You're like, oh, God, a million excuses why I can't do it. And then you do it. And then you turn around the corner and you get this view. It's unbelievable. Never say no. You got to come out and experience it. Put on a pair of skis and you start going down a hill and the speed increases and the excitement increases along with that and it's kind of winter bliss where you go fast and far in a short period of time standing on your feet sliding down a hill You can do it at whatever level you want to do it at. You know, you can go out on striding skis, and that's like kind of going for a walk. Or you can go out on skate skis, which is more like going for a run. There is nothing that will make me ever feel more alive than putting skis on. I feel freedom. I feel this intense adrenaline rush. You are able to just be out in nature, slowly taking it in, whether you're going uphill or downhill. There's an old ski area in Yosemite, California's first ski resort. Well, there was a lot of ski areas in national parks back in the 20s and 30s when people were really trying to draw people to these national parks in the wintertime. So places like Rocky Mountain National Park, Olympic National Park, Mount Rainier, Yosemite, Sequoia, they all brought in alpine ski areas to draw people to the national parks in the wintertime. Most people don't know about these ski areas because most of them are gone. The only ones left are Hurricane Ridge and Olympic National Park and Badger Pass here in Yosemite. Badger Pass is not a huge ski resort. It's more of a family-oriented ski area. It's not huge, it's not steep, it's so family-friendly. You don't have to worry about your kids skiing off the edge of a cliff. I'll come to Badger Pass, I'll ride the chairlifts, I'll practice my telemark skiing. And then I'll just keep going off trail and I'll go into the backcountry and I'll go into the wilderness, do some backcountry ski touring. From Badger Pass, you can strike out into the backcountry out to Ostrander Hut, which was built by the CCC in the 1930s and still accommodating backcountry skiers today. Skiing around Ostrander has a lot of variations in terrain. There's open bowls that people can make beautiful turns down. There's excellent views from the top of steep ridge lines that you can look out to Half Dome and the Sierra Crest. The Ostrander Hut is this really great backcountry ski hut experience. It's run by the Yosemite Conservancy, so you can make a reservation for the hut through their organization. And one of the things that's really cool is that there's a hut keeper that's out there that really knows the trails and the terrain. You feel like you're going back in time. The style of the building, wonderful stacked and mortared stone. It feels like a castle back in the mountains, miniature castle for skiers. The tales of skiing the backcountry that are spun around the fire at night, the playing of the cards, the cooking of the food, all of that happening in a winter environment in a backcountry stone ski hut. 
It's just not something you can get very many places. There's a trailhead that leads you out to Glacier Point. It's a groomed cross-country ski trail on the Glacier Point Road. So in the summertime, it's a paved road that you can drive out to. And in the wintertime, it turns into this remarkable groomed trail that is groomed for both skate skiers and classic skiers to be able to go 11 miles out to Glacier Point. Epic views along the way, beautiful mountain scenes, and at the end, you are rewarded with a remarkable view of Half Dome. It is never disappointing. The hut out there is fully staffed, and you can get your meals, you can get your bunks out there and, and just have an incredible time. A place like Ostrander, you're going to pack in all of your own gear. A place like the Glacier Point Hut, you can pay for that experience and have it catered for you. So depending on the level of adventure you're looking for, you can find it at either place. There's something about getting there under your own power, you know, as opposed to driving out to Glacier Point, to actually take that trek, that 10, 11 mile trek on your own power and get out there on skis and then have it virtually all to yourself. It's a magical, quiet, peaceful experience that you just can't find during the rest of the year. And winter offers those types of experiences throughout Yosemite. It's peaceful. I mean, it's always peaceful here, but something with snow and stars and moon and the rock, it's quiet. You could hear the waterfall yesterday. It's special. find a place that you can be on snow in whatever capacity, it's magical. And the memories that you'll take back from Yosemite will far exceed your expectation.